All right, here's my M3D 3D printer. And if you're looking at the belt, so this is this is on the left side, and if you look right here, that's the the Y belt, and there's a twist in the belt. I cannot get the camera at the right angle, but the the top of the belt right here twists outward. And so you can see that the teeth, so it's setting at about a almost a 45 degree angle right here next to this this little bearing blocky thing. Um, and just pulling on it with the pencil, you can see that how much kind of slack it has. All right, I'm going to turn it around, and this is the belt on the right side. So uh, this one kind of twists the opposite direction, but it's so much tighter than the other side. You know, pulling them out the same amount like that versus this one. It's not not nearly as tight. So let's sit it right there. I'm gonna move it. Let's see here. Well, let's move it backwards. And it's not really apparent when I just do it like this. But when it's making rapid movements uh, front to back, this belt, you can kind of see that it, because of the slack, it'll kind of move out away from the, the gantry slider, the Y slider thingy. Um, and I think it's because the opposite side, the right side, is so much tighter and depending on whether the filament is pulling on it, it may, um, it may kind of twist. So let's move it out here. Okay, so if I push on it with the pencil a little bit, It's just a light push, and it's not terribly wobbly or stiff. I mean, this one, this one's just loose. It's not glued in or tight like the other side, so there is a little bit of up and down play. And I'll go over here to the other side, the right side. So this one, if I push on it. And the belt moves a little bit, but this block and the rods seem all tight. And there's no up and down slop in it at all. So that's what I got going on. Thing still prints, but it's just kind of kind of wobbly and weird. Alright, 